focus during this acute phase includes gait and transfer training, therapeutic exercises for quad strengthening, knee range of motion, and managing swelling in the lower extremity. The Autogy treadmill can be used to help a patient regain normal gait mechanics in a fall safe environment during these initial days. The amount of body weight support provided should be specific to the patient's level of pain. Begin by unweighting a patient to about 50 to 60 percent. Add or remove body weight support until the patient is able to walk pain-free. The video monitoring system should be used to provide your patient feedback on their gait mechanics. As they monitor their gait, encourage heel strike with knee extension and knee flexion during swing for proper foot clearance. Remember that early normalization of gait mechanics help limit the chances of gait abnormalities further down the road and will also help patients transition off an assisted device earlier. Goals in this phase typically include achieving 0 to 90 degrees passive range of motion, improving quad strength to 3 out of 5, and ambulating independently for household distances without an assistive device. Joint mobs and soft tissue mobilization are usually initiated as well. In addition to continuing working on gait mechanics, the Authergy treadmill can be used during this phase to initiate closed chain quadricep exercises. Patients may have difficulty tolerating equal weight bearing due to pain when they begin this portion of their rehab. Use the body weight support to perform squats, step ups, and lunges. Adjust the support as needed for the patient to perform these safely and comfortably. At this point of a patient's recovery, goals include improving active knee range of motion to 0 to 130 degrees, increasing the overall strength of the involved lower extremity to 4 out of 5 or greater, and to independently ambulate in the community without an assistive device, including reciprocal stair climbing. Eccentric quadricep and stabilization exercises can now be progressed and performed with body weight support in the Alter G. Closed chain exercises should be progressed to overground. Patients should continue gait training on the Alter G with focus now on equalizing step length, stance time, and cadence. Use the reverse mode to emphasize active open chain knee flexion and closed chain knee extension for propulsion. Remember that this protocol is just a general guideline for the progression of a patient after a total knee replacement and ways to incorporate the Alter-G treadmill in their recovery. This protocol does not substitute for professional clinical decision making and should be individualized based upon specific surgeon guidelines and each specific patient needs.